Hey everyone, it's Ben back again from exercise.co.uk. Today we have another video and we're diving into drop sets. Uh, what they are, why you should do them, and how to do them as well. So if you aren't familiar with drop sets, this is gonna be an awesome technique to build into your strength training program to help push your muscles a little bit further, give you an extra challenge. And if you feel like things are plateauing a little bit, this is gonna really throw some spice and some ver variety into your training. So let's get into it. So a drop set is in its nature, um, a set where you use a lighter weight after you've finished your normal set. So let's take a bench press, for example. So you've got your standard, let's say you're doing three sets of six to 10 reps. So you do your normal three sets of six to 10 reps, but then when you get to your last set, and you're finished doing your bench press, you either have two options with your drop set. You could whip a couple of plates off the bar and then get straight back onto the bench and crank out as many reps as you possibly can. You want to take off um, somewhere in the region of, so that you're left with about 70%, 60 to 70% of the original weight that you had when you finished and get as many reps out as you possibly can. Or you could just jump straight into some press-ups and start dropping as many press-ups as you possibly can to push your muscle to failure. Or another example would be squats. Squats would be a really, really good one. So when you've finished your last set of squats and you feel like you can barely push the bar up again, rack it back up and either pick up a plate in front of you or just do some body weight squats and just get as many squats as you possibly can just to push your muscles even further. So you've pushed them to the point of failure with your last set, but there's even more room. You can drop that weight and push them even further past the point of failure. So we're really getting uh, your muscles to, to scream out. Um, and there is a purpose for this. There's a really, really good reason for it, which we'll go into now. So drop sets, why would you do them? Uh, what, what are the benefits for, for, for doing a drop set? Um, the main one, could just be variety, just shocking the muscles, pure shock. Uh, your muscles are highly susceptible to plateaus, which just means leveling out. They get used to uh, routine and it's so easy. We are creatures of habit by our very nature. So sometimes it's very easy for us to slip into a routine and we haven't even realized it. So we've almost set cruise control on our muscles and it's stunting your growth and how fast you're actually seeing the development. But just by adding something in, like a drop set, at the end of your sets, it doesn't take much time, but the benefits for that investment in time are massive and the, re the rewards that you reap. So because you're taking your muscles beyond the point of failure, you're creating new ways to create micro tears in those muscles. And it's all about how you overload that muscle. So you're finding a new way to overload that particular muscle group, particularly if you're struggling to use heavy weights, that can be another way to overload the muscles without having to use heavy weights because you're really squeezing every last ounce of energy expenditure from that muscle group. So because you're breaking down those muscle fibers, when you repair them and go into your recovery phase, you're going to uh, notice the growth much, much more because you've broken down those fibers even further than they're used to and shocked them in a new way that they haven't been familiar with. And initially, you're really gonna notice a kickstart. It will level off and that's because your muscles are then becoming used to using drop sets. So then that's when we use a different set style, which is worth checking out some of our other articles where we have um, all the variety of different set styles available to, to, to look at. So you can check those out and see how you can keep varying your training to make sure that you don't plateau because that's what's going to stunt your growth and stunt your development. So unfortunately we can't just kind of hit the cruise control button and, and cruise into our, our workout plans. We've got to be looking at things like drop sets to continuously keep pushing and forcing growth in new ways, not just through overloading your muscles through weight, but pushing them past the point of failure. So using things like body weight exercises at the end of your training, like we used with the example of squats and press ups, and there's so many other ways you can do it. You can utilize them with every single, almost every single exercise that you use just by dropping the weight immediately after you've finished your set and pushing a few more reps out. And then you can even drop the weight further and push some more out until you almost 
need to just use body weight or thin air and you can barely lift either your arms or your legs and reduce it as much as you possibly can and keep dropping it and dropping it until there is nothing left because it's all about how much effort you put in and the great thing and the most rewarding thing about your training is you will directly notice the correlation between how much effort you put in and the results that you see uh, if you're putting a hundred hundred and just hundred percent effort in you will notice and you will see the results but if you know in your gut that you're only going at 70 80 percent which we can't operate 100 percent all the time but if you know consistently you aren't pushing yourself you won't see that transition through to the results so this is where we put things in like drop sets so that you can really really maximize the effort that you're putting into your training so we hope you found that useful i would say check out the other articles that are there that talk about all the different varieties set styles that you can put in we've got all sorts we've got german volume training pyramid training there's so many different varieties and ways that you can train your muscle groups through strength that you might not be aware of yet that you could be putting into your training and using right now um, just by checking out and having a five minute read of different things on the site and also don't forget to like follow share and subscribe because we've got tons more workouts coming your way tons more information to keep you pushing further help spice your training up and get the most out of the effort that you put in so stay tuned for more thank you